Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World. This video is a book view of Olivia by Dorothy Strachey, first published in 1949. So this very small little novel is about a girl, young lady, young woman, um, she's at an awkward age, uh, called Olivia. Olivia, when we first meet her, is at school, and then at 16 she is sent to finishing school in France and there she falls romantically for her literature teacher, despite their not being reciprocated love, so to speak. But it's more than that. There's a lot happening at the school itself, and there's a lot of um, roughs and uh, difficulties between teachers and it's kind of like teachers and pupils are taking sides and there's like this division that is going on in between the schools so it's all this school environment and in the midst of it we have Olivia battling with her newfound feelings for her teacher. So when I was going into this I was a little unsure if I would like it because I've heard really really mixed things. Uh, I hadn't read anything by Dorothy Strachey before. She is the sister of Lytton Strachey, the writer, um, although I don't think I've read anything by him before either. <laughs> um, so I wasn't really sure how I would get on because I just heard mixed things, I wasn't sure, hadn't read anything, so I went in with an open mind. And in all fairness, I liked it. I thought it was quite all right. <laughs> At first, I found it to be quite dense. I found that you, you had to kind of work yourself into it. And I felt like I was running through treacle a little bit to start with. I was just hoping that the, the writing wasn't gonna be like this all the way through. Luckily it wasn't, I did get into the swing of things. And there's also a lot in here where French is used and just for a phrase or a sentence or two, um, I studied French at school and I can remember very little. I can remember Je m'appelle and Quel est le date de ton anniversaire? It's a birthday song, isn't it? <laughs> That's about it. I apologise for my accent. Um, so knowing not even school French anymore, I did find that a little bit tricky to work my way through as well. But for the rest of it, actually I thought the writing was all right and whizzed through it rather quickly. I liked how this book was based off Dorothy's own life so Dorothy had a very similar kind of upbringing in the sense that she also went to finishing school and apparently there was also a teacher there that Dorothy who's like playing Olivia um there was that similar sort of feelings for and I thought that was very interesting to use you know your own life experiences off the bat so I really liked that aspect of it and I also really like the fact that this book makes you question love because Olivia herself goes to her classmates and she says have you been in love what does love feel like? And she's doing this compare and contrast. It's really interesting to hear what people are saying, what they think love is. Um, and it got me thinking about defining love and trying to define a feeling. And I like books that make me think like that. So I really enjoyed that element of it too. I didn't love any of the characters, I have to say. I felt connected to Olivia literally within the last two paragraphs, <laughs> literally. It's 107 pages, the edition that I have. I fell for her at right at the end of page 106. That's when I started to like Olivia. So other than that, did I like any of the characters? Not really. I didn't feel like I got to know them um, enough. I got to know Olivia, but she got on my nerves <laughs> for the most part, apart from that last bit. Then I felt connected to her, then I warmed her, then I liked her. So it's a real mixed bag book for me. I like books set in schools and I like books based on relationships and love. And I like books that make me think and question, you know, the bigger moral picture of what is love? Can we define love? No, we can't, we can't shove it in a box. Um, but I liked certain aspects of it. Lots of things that I didn't like. Felt like I was running through treacle for right at the beginning. Found the French difficult. Didn't really connect with the characters. 
But the ending was quite satisfying. Emotionally satisfying. And I read it in one go. So I liked it. Didn't love it. Would I recommend it? If you've got it on your shelves, I would say go and pick it up. Um, give it a read. Or if you could check it out at your local library, I would also say go and pick it up. Will I reread it again in the future? Yeah, I probably will in another like 10 years or so. But it's not one that I really didn't dislike. It's not one that I think is okay. I think it's good. I just don't think it's great. So that is it for my review of Olivia. Um, I would be really intrigued to know whether you have read it before. If so, what did you make of it? Did you enjoy it more than I did? Um, did you completely dislike it? Let me know in the comments. So thank you so much for watching this video. Take care and I shall see you soon for the next one. Bye for now.